Hi guys, this is the second video regarding analyzing a budget and it's going to discuss uh, percentages of our income or how an expense is a percentage of our income and figuring out if our income, if our spending habits are falling within the recommended percentages for spending. So for example, if you uh, had your income and then your expenses and you were spending 75% of your income on food, only 25% of your income would be left for everything else, transportation, housing, clothes, entertainment, any savings, utility, rent, all that stuff. So you have to make sure that when you're looking at a budget, that certain things, and there are recommendations, uh, fall within the certain percentage for uh, however much that we're spending. So let's just take a look at some examples. If in your booklet, you are on page two, or pardon me, uh, 356. Okay, so page 356. And we're gonna go over this example together uh, this example is really, really focusing on the amounts of money that are spent and what percentage they are, okay? What are your expenses? What percentage of your whole income are you actually spending your money on, okay? So here we go. Salima works as a lifeguard and swimming instructor. She earns about $2,400 per month. Her average monthly spent expenses are as follows. So here they are, $760 for rent, utilities 140, food 400, transportation 175, entertainment 200, clothing 200, savings 180, other 345. Salima, has researched spending guidelines. These guidelines give a recommendation of how much your income you should spend on each category. Okay, so here's some recommendations, okay, for spending guidelines. They recommend uh, your housing costs should be between 25 and 35% of your income. Utilities, five to 10% of your income. Food, five to 15% of your income. Transportation, five to 15% of your income. Entertainment, five to 10%. So you can see this one they're saying, you should be spending just a little bit of money on your entertainment. Clothing, two to 5%. Savings, five to 15%. And then other, five to 10%. So these are recommendations. When you are doing a budget, you want to look at what you're spending your money on and say, hey, oh, I realized like in a four month span, 50% of my expenses were on entertainment. Oh, wow, I'm really overshooting the guidelines of five to 10%, okay? Things like that. Okay, so the question is, what changes need to be made so that Salima's spending falls within the guidelines? So let's take a look. Okay. Oh, gee, Willikers. We're going to have to look at what she is spending and if it falls within these guidelines. I'm going to try to keep this right there so you can see it okay so let's use that and then it's going to say what is the maximum that salima should be spending on food per month and show salima spending on a circle graph that part we will do uh, when we are face to face i'm not going to do that on the video today however to be able to do that you're going to need a protractor Make sure you have a protractor to be able to measure 
the angles uh, in our circles. You need to have that for Friday's class, okay? So let's take a look. Going over the, the solution here, it says calculate what percentage of each category represents Salima's income. Right, so we were gonna look at this and we're going to see what she is spending. So if you are figuring out what percentage of something is out of the income, this is how you go about it, okay? For example, rent. Her rent, Salima's rent, $760 every month divided by how much she's making, okay? So what is the expense? Divided by the expense. I'm just gonna write this down. You should too. It's a nice little formula that helps you to be able to solve this. An expense, so if it's rent, if it's utilities, if it's food, okay? Divided by, out of, the income. is its percentage, okay? How much are you spending on different expenses out of whatever that income is gives you what percentage you've spent on that expense, okay? So rent, what is the expense? It's the rent is the expense and it's worth $760 divided by the income, $2,400. If you do the math, hold on, I gotta pull up my calculator. Okay, $760 divided by 2,400, which is the income, gives you your percent. Now. This is in a decimal. This is not written as a percentage right now. It's written as a decimal, okay? We're going to change this decimal into a percentage. Zero and 32 hundredths is written like this as a fraction. It's 32 out of 100. Out of 100 is exactly the translation for per cent in French, okay? 32 out of 100, which means you have 32 percent, okay? A quick way to look up what your percentage would be, if you see the decimal number here, it's 0 decimal 3. When you look to the first two place values, the tenths and the hundredths, they tell you what your percentage is, but you can't forget to check what the thousandths is because this six is a large enough digit that it rounds this 31% up to 32 because 31.6% is closer to 32% than 31%, okay? So 32%, she spent 32% on her rent. Let's look at this guideline. Housing, 25 to 35%. So she's okay, but she's right at the top edge of it. She was spending 32% on her housing. Okay. Her utilities said, again, you use this formula. Expense, how much did it cost? $140 divided by your income. 2,400. What do we get? Oh, 0 decimal 0, 06. Again, this 6 is in the hundredths place value. It's 6 out of 100. It's 6%. Okay, utilities, she was spending 6%. We look at the chart. Utilities, 5 to 10%. So she's doing okay with those two. Low end of utilities, High end of housing though, okay? 
So we go through all of the rest of the things and we realize food, she was paying 17% on the chart. We're just going to use this now, 17%, uh-oh, food is a little bit high. I'm gonna just mark that one to remind us that that one's a bit high. Transportation, how much does it cost? Divided by the income, 0 0.07, which translates to 7% for transportation. So she's doing well for transportation. That one was good. Entertainment, it says that she saved 8% of her, in, or spent 8% of her income on entertainment. So that one is falls in the guidelines. Clothing, she spent 8% of her income on clothing. So we can see clothing, she's spending a little bit too much money on clothing. That's somewhere she could save some money. Savings, she saved 8%. So she's within the guidelines still though for savings. And other, she has 14%. And here the guidelines say five to 10%. And yet she was putting 14% towards others, which must be just, I'm assuming like unexpected costs, okay? So that is how you figure out what percentage it is that you've spent, okay? We've looked at the guidelines. According to the guidelines, Salima should not spend more than 15% of her income on food. Calculate 15% of $2,400. Well, right here we have it. This is how you calculate it. You take the amount of money, $2,400, and we're going to find 15% of that. When we hear the word of, we think multiply, not out of, just of, multiply, multiply $360. She should be spending $360 on her food, okay? So that shows you how to do this. Now, this is talking about constructing a circle graph and we will do that together on Friday when you bring your protractors. Okay guys, take care. See you next time.